Uh, Eric here for Xenoblade. You should be the last uh, Xenoblade. Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition should be the very last one. So some small, very small updates from last time. I have gone and gotten some upgrades for Shulk's new Monado. This is Monado Rudra, which uh, prioritizes damage. It basically reduces the window. Uh, or reduces the swing, we'll say, in potential damage numbers. As you see on the side there, there's auto attack minimum, auto attack maximum. It's the same. So he does consistent damage, basically. Um, the alternative was the replica Monado, which is the one we started with, which has a lower attack minimum. And then there's the Monado Ra uh, Agni, which is a prioritizes defense. Which isn't really a concern on classic mode. There are a couple of other Monado styles, but we'll pretty much need to finish the game first before we'll really have access to them. Because there is, there's kind of a post game for Xenoblade. There's not much, really. It's just secret bosses and a couple of quests pop up and you can finish off Colony 6 and a couple of other things. This chest, I can't get to, and that's really annoying. <laughs> it's because it's, it's got some good shit in it. You know? I actually did almost get up there. All right, I can I can highlight it, but it won't let me actually. Uh, yeah, it won't let me actually open it. That, that was the issue. Anyway, I'm gonna shrink. So previously, on Xenoblade Chronicles, monsters stand in the party's way in the arena on Prison Island. The only way forward is through them. The party must take on the Obarts and continue their pursuit of Dixon. I've kind of done that already, or at least I've done the Obarts part already. So we finished the stream. More or less here, we had come out of a, a behemoth nest, climbed all the way, well climbed, I say, I fell all the way down that shaft. Uh, this area opened up before us, there's a switch we can press here, which I've already done. Should have. Um, we can also locate the key to this gate, and this gate opens up a shortcut uh, to the banquet hall area, so we don't need to go through the arena anymore to get all the way back around here, which isn't that important for the, the quest or the dungeon or the story, whatever, but it's important when you want to come back here to farm, so you don't have to do that route. Uh, it takes you this way. You press this button. You press this button and um, the elevator that had dropped down on us and had led us left us in the behemoth pit goes back up. That's, that's the only change here. So, you can, if you want, jump down here, uh, hang out around the balcony. There are some secret small areas in and around. They're not secret, exactly. They're obvious. You can see them. There's a door right there above Shulk's head. I have some cool chests with some armor and stuff in them. But we've gotten, I've done all that already. So what are we actually going to do is make use of that shortcut. Which ordinarily you wouldn't be able to do unless you purposely came back here, I suppose, to do it. We can instead come back this way, past that guy. We had taken this route before, remember it leads into the arena, only this time the elevator floor will not have dropped out on us and we can walk all the way to the next area. Automaka is playing a lot of Animal Crossing lately. <laughs> Hope he's okay. Have we, did I ever finish the Collectivity in this area? I don't think I did. A hell raspberry hot! People who have eaten it have sworn they've seen demonic visions. That's pretty hot. It's so hot you hallucinate. Abs an absurd branch. A small branch that attacks, attracts mice from who knows where. It's always damp. This sounds like a D this sounds like a D and D item. Blue blood. Well you named this cautiously. It's a blood-stained pendant. And there's one left. Some kind of animal we're missing. Okay, so you may remember we came in through here following on the trail of Dixon, um, who has betrayed us. Shock, I know. You're all shocked, I'm sure. And once we got in here, he uh, dropped out the floor on us and we ended up down at the behemoth uh, nest. But now this floor is back up. Uh, the guy who was on the throne came down to fight us. He's a, not a hard fight, um, so he's done now. 
so we're moving on. So that popping up should tell you that I hadn't been there already. This is new-ish. I mean, I've played the game before. I, I finished the game before. I know what, what's next. So head up. Climbing up the tower. We're not climbing up the tower exactly. We're on the interior of the tower as opposed to the exterior. Although that's what the change is from earlier in the game when we were here before. Never mind, we're on the exterior now. <laughs> okay. Alright, these guys don't care because I am a couple of levels above them. So the last couple of things that you can do in the game. Some stuff that opens up now that the Bionis is moving. Um, so some new paths have opened up. Not just the Bionis interior dungeon that we went into, but some older areas now have new places available which you can go to. Um, like even all the way back at Tefra Cave, like the first dungeon, has some new stuff in it now. Uh, there's a kind of small subquest with like the giants and stuff like that that you can now tackle. Getting all the different giant treasures leads you into a vault area, but you need to be level 90 something to deal with the enemies there. So yeah, that's a really uh, go finish the game first and come back later kind of thing. Going for a jog. Senorita Scarab. A strong screw. <laughs> That's what I give you on Saturday night. <laughs> or at least I would if anybody, you know, wanted to wanted to avail of such a service, which they don't. Anyway. Okay, so this was an uneventful jog because we're outside of those enemies' levels. Let's head back inside. Okay. I thought that said Gondor for a second. Gondoral Cathedral. Okay, and I think the I think this opens the last time attack. Might al might already be open. Don't think this is the last fight. No, you have this. You have there's a boss fight, then a boss fight with Dixon, and then the end of the game. The corridor of silence. Silence. Hey, this looks Where like the bottom floor. What is this place? It's just a floor up, Fiora. Like Come down. There's an altar over there. These have scary faces. Hmm. We better take a look. <laughs> Let's look at the scary face. Bring Ricky up to it. What do you think, Ricky? Oh, I'm glad they cut to the part where I just had to walk the whole way. I said, nah, let's, let's just put him at the altar. You see easier. something, Shulk? This indentation. It looks like something should fit inside it. It looks like an emboss, really. Not an indentation. Yep. Ricky, feel like something here. It's probably a way up to the top. Why? Could it really why, be that why would easy? it be? <laughs> There's no use thinking about it. Let's search Don't for the think, just do. The gap. You could all just arrange your fingers in such a way that it fits into the gap, right? Use the dragon summon. Got it. Okay. Let's let's do that, I suppose. That seems like a good use of our skills. The dragon summon. Okay, up to the next floor. Let's go this way so we can pick up this heart to heart and see who it is. Like the other use, of course, of the the end game is to boost affinity with everybody. You know, because it's really only Shulk who's friends with everybody at the moment. Because I never take him out of the party. Hmm. Let's do that one. Since she's here, we might as well. Since we're here, rather. Uh, actually. Let's bring Ricky. And I'm just gonna open the wiki to make sure I do give the correct responses. That was the wrong button. Um. 
So you go into, I, we haven't done these in ages. So I think like the very first stream was, was when I did it last. Uh, these are just short interlude uh, conversations between the characters and they're a means of getting more affinity, but um, they're already maxed out as far as I'm aware. So this probably won't make a huge difference to us. In fact, you might, in fact, have to be maxed out in order to uh, even... Oh no, this is the wrong button. Things are happening. Okay, stop. Alright, good. Okay, <laughs> you, you weren't aware of those things, but some things were booting up that I did not want to boot up. Okay, so... Something wrong, Shulk? You look like you're a million miles away. Ellipses. Shulk, you in there? Oh, hey Fiora, what's up? Hello, I just asked you that. You feeling okay? Sorry, I was just thinking. Been like this since we got here. <laughs> you don't miss a thing, do you? Nope, and I know exactly what's been on your mind. Sex and Robo Pussy. Robo. Sticks in the you worried about me. Is that the correct one? I think it is. Yes, how did you know? All I had to do was look at your face. I could feel the worry. Just by looking at me? It's pretty amazing. I was joking, Shulk. Thank you, though. I've been feeling much better, so stop worrying so much. Well, if you're feeling better... Shulk, do you think I'll ever be 100% Homs again? No doubt, of course you will. I'll make it happen. Mm. <laughs> Don't know what I would do without you. This is all over, we'll find a way. My magic powers. Whenever we make camp, I see you as your head in the book. The night you didn't sleep. You doing all this for me? Yeah, but it's nothing. I always get carried away when I fixate on one thing. It's a bad habit of mine. Same shulk. Must be so exhausted from all the fighting. Don't worry, Fiora, I'm fine. I did some good. It did some good, because now I've learned a few things. Really? Like what? The key is combining Machina and High Antia technologies. Nicole gave me a book explaining the joint research they did. It was years and years ago, but it covered all sorts of fields. I don't know much about medicine, but Charla and Lenata do. I'll get them to help. Shulk. Sorry, Fiora. This stuff is really boring, huh? No, it's, it's not... Fiora? Are you... crying? No, I'm a robot. Robots can't cry. Yes, these are tears of joy. I don't know what to say. I get my body back. We're gonna sex so damn hard. Let's go have another picnic at the park in the colony. That's a nice way of saying let's go sex really hard. Sure thing, Fiora. It's a date. For real this time. One day, I promise. I like one of those fake dates. So yeah, that's a, a way to boost affinity between the two party members. If you pick the correct uh, choices, you get a better boost, basically, which is why I was checking the choices, but I'm pretty sure they're maxed out on affinity anyway, so choices are irrelevant. And I really feel like those heart-to-hearts should give you more than they do um, because there's a there's a hell of a grind required for the other party members if you're not constantly swapping party members in and out to boost affinity constantly giving them gifts and just grinding away for gifts basically um, otherwise it takes ages and it's definitely not something I'm gonna do <laughs> I'm not doing that did it once already I'm not doing it again we started playing Xenoblade Chronicles purely for the story to catch up on it, and I have to keep that in mind. I have to keep that in mind, otherwise I'll end up going 100% on this again, and I don't need to. Done it already. Seen it already. Don't need to do it again. Still haven't picked up whatever the third animal is. He says, despite saying I'm not 100%ing. Still want to finish the collectopedia. All right, we found the thing, I guess. It wasn't very far away. Summon a dragon. 
Seems like a rope would do the job, guys. Is it really necessary to have whatever this is? Are we gonna question why there is a dragon inside the Bionis' brain? Oh wait, I can just jump off, right? Pick up that thing. It might be it. It might be the one thing we're looking for. It's not. <laughs> Alright, there's water at the bottom of the tower. I can just jump off. Splash. Okay, who to take into the dragon fight? Dunban, nope, that's wrong. Dunban kind of has a dragon motif going with him anyway, and Riki is sort of wearing a dragon, so this feels like the team. I don't recall this fight being very difficult though, so should be all right. This is more of a um, this is more of a test for the for the last couple of bosses. It's basically, if you can beat the dragon, you're, you'll probably be fine. Like, the last couple of bosses are tricky enough, but again, we're playing on casual mode, so I don't envision it will be that much of a struggle. Casual mode is very easy compared to the main game. Not even compared to the main game, just in general, it's very easy. <laughs> I don't think we'll casual mode Xenoblade 2, because... I barely have to dip into menus or do any equipment changes or anything in this. All right, the Dragon King, Alcar. Wait, is Alcar the name of the giant Egil's friend? Let me just check the wiki. Is it just the Dragon King? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. I'm, I'm misremembering the name of that guy. All right then, let's do it. We can't lose. Psychics, try hard. Don't hold back. Right here. Just wanted to get a bit of more Monado power, <laughs> so I could purge him of his aura. His... I missed. All right, well, fuck it, so. Well, we'll just have to deal with this then. Not ideal. It looks like his thorns is uh, damage. Didn't think the Bonato could miss. I can't attack fast enough to. Uh, I'm sure Dumbad's probably gonna kill him there with that attack anyway. And he's done. Bye. Like I said, casual mode. Not hard. <laughs> Alright, we got his eye, I guess. That's what goes in here. Wait, she probably have been on that. Found the transporter to the top. Okay. Pretty sure now when we step in there, the game is like, are you sure? Because you can't go back once you do this. So who do we want in the team? Sure. Want Melia anyway. Do I go for Dunban or Dunban, Fiora, or Ryan? Basically, is the question here. Like Charlotte is the better healer, but she's not great for chain attacks. Um, whereas Melia 
Well, I mean, Melia's not exactly great for chain attacks either, but she has a fairly... Um, she has good support stuff. I mean, I could take a support character out entirely and just go full DPS on them. Bring Viora, Dunban, and Shulk in. Strong. Strongly thinking of doing that. <laughs> no. That would be... No, we'd die. We'd, I think we'd beat Dixon easily enough. I don't think we'd beat Zanza. Doing that. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. This might be fun. This might be a terrible idea. Or the fight might be over immediately as well. I'm sure the game will give us a chance to swap out party members before the Zanza fight. I can sense Dixon. How? How do people do this? We must be near can the Can you sense another person's presence? If we proceed from here, we will be unable to return. Are you ready to go on? So there's the literal, this is the point of no return. If you step into the elevator, it's the end of the game, basically. So, yes, let's do it. Yes, I'm ready. A little bit. Aren't you scared? I would be lying if I said no. You sure but must. still, we must go on. Agreed. We know what we're fighting for. We yeah, decided let's do this ages ago. <laughs> yes. Dunban? Oh, sorry. I just got caught up in the moment. Come on, Dunban. I'm just, just going to boost the audio. Up a right, let's go. Time to seize our destiny. Let's seize our destiny by the balls, everybody. Assuming it has balls, of course. If your destiny does not have balls, you can obviously seize it by... What is it? The bum. The ears? The teeth? <laughs> seize our destiny by the teeth. We can't hold out any longer. He's not even looking down that scope. Stop complaining. We're not the only ones fighting. No, Believe in me. Shulk and the others. We will defend this place until they get back. Wow, That's what a plan. plan. Just so wait. To it. Wait for the hero to show uh, up. Understood. That's your plan. Ah! It's hard to gauge. It's a big boy to that, yeah. What? What? The guy who tried to eat Juju? Or a version of him? We're on our side now. No longer under. They're no longer under Egil's control. As a Thoron is just saying. They're on our side now. They used to be Homs, all of them. They may look different, but they all want the same thing as us. Juju, let's go. All right. Sure, I'm sure I'm glad the other enemies didn't take that opportunity to attack either of them while they weren't paying attention. It's good. It's good for everybody. All right, we are no longer able to go back to Colony 6 and so on. I think if we even try to teleport out, it'll be like, no, all. Yeah, everything's red. Landmark's unavailable and so on. No teleporting. You're stuck. They're stuck in here. Go fight Dixon. All right, how's the story? There is no going back now. <laughs> the only way is forward. Party must enter Prison Terrace. Where Dixon awaits. Prison Terrace, an awful cafe. Anything under the staircase? No. So we've been here before. Way back in, like, stream. Like... <laughs> there he is. Ryan looks a little out of place from everybody else. Dixon! Look, I only do this once a, while, a week, Dixon. Shulk. Waiting for us to fight you. 
Yeah, yeah it doesn't have to, that's what Dixon. It's come to. Or will you just could say the same thing of you, Dixon. You. We'll never do that. Just as I expected. Hmm. Wouldn't have it any other oh, no. way. He's doing the crazy eyes. I've been working for Lord Zanza since the beginning. I raised you purely you raised so shit, he Dixon, could you were never on. home. I know. <laughs> I raised myself. And I must thank you for granting me such power. It's all down to you that I'm standing here. Ready for you now. <laughs> you fucked up, Dixon. You Enough raised me too well, old man. Boy. <gasps> this isn't even my final form. Dixon, you've been working out. If you're so determined to stop us, nice. then we will kill you. It's a big boy. Finally, right. this time don't miss. Son of a bitch. Okay, he didn't miss. He's actually immune to it. You just have to put up with it. Isn't even even my final there for him. This is getting boring. You were. Dixon, I was kicking your ass. Ah! I see you've inherited Maynette's power. Not her power. Huh? I've inherited her memories. That's why I fight you. Fiora. Memories, huh? And what good are those a meant to be? Can't use oh, I, I disagree. To kill anyone. Why are Just you bring up an, an embarrassing moment You're from somebody's past. To create a world where nothing exists. What could you possibly hope to get out of it? <laughs> Only those with power have the power. right to decide such things. You're wrong. Zanza just tells me where to fight, and I fight. And that's how I like it. Is that your Isn't reason? Isn't even a reason. For fighting. It's so what's going on on his back? Reason. What's what? What do we think's happening there? Maynard wished for a world where the peoples of Why are you all so tired? He wasn't even hurt. In hand. You will never get away with this. Is that right? Then what are you gonna do about it in that feeble body? <laughs> But he doesn't have a banana Correct. anymore. Who knows how much life it's got in it? Hey, better say uh, goodbye. Dixon, you fool. It can't be. You'll make me even goodbye. more powerful. Uh, I'll carry on fighting beside you until the very end. Fiora. Well then. Well, not we too quick. There's not a whole lot left in the game. I want to get like a three hour stream out of this. <laughs> Don't go too fast, Dixon. What's that? Little boy lost his Manado. His Not the Manado. Remember, a that's the drinking game. It. Be careful. Well, you can't. It's time to learn your play. <laughs> <laughs> We're really dragging this out. Did yeah. you not say that you wanted to be with Shulk? <laughs> Do not throw your You better make it worth it or I'll swoop in and take him from you. She's right. You have to take what you want. How does There's this gun no work? Point in dying. There's There's no You're point in dying. Shulk, show him what you made of. Uh, Muscle and Come on, man. blood and you don't need oh, he's had a drink. This piece of scum. Ah. No, Ricky, no. 
That's a Ricky. No Shulk brave. Ricky want to see the old Shulk. Shulk is real hero bon. Shulk. Real. Yes. Power Watch this. Comes from within. Believe in your own. Dun -dun, how are you blocking like this? Shulk. This position. Ridiculous. Everyone. Shulk. It's time, Shulk. <laughs> I'm sorry Let's I wore this big this. shoulder armor for <laughs> you. <laughs> I will not fail. With your faith in me and our strength combined, we can do this. Huh? Glowy eyes. Sure. You ever gonna make this worth my while? Huh? <laughs> Not the slow mo walk. You're in trouble now, Dixon. We got the anime slow mo walk. Why not? Can't be. That power. <laughs> Throw the boss music in too. Nice. Full health, that's some bullshit. Miss. Resist that time, okay, so I could get him with it. Because he was in a special aura form or something. Wait, is she balancing on? No, she's not. <laughs> How is it Drink. possible without the banana? Face me. Slice him right across the nips. That's gonna hurt. Still got some. Fighting yeah, then. Take the lightsaber to the nips. I'm done. <laughs> I'm going home. Dixon! I just wanted the power of a god. This martyr stuff's not for me. Go! I ain't gonna risk my life to stop ya. Get back here! You expect us to no let you go? Things to do. What? Enough. It's Sansa we're after, not him. Uh, okay. Yeah, that was easy. I'm ban. Former old comrade, etc. He still got the wound on the nips. Kid gets so strong. I ain't gonna let you see me die. <sighs> I won't give you the satisfaction. <laughs> They're gonna find your corpse. <laughs> We're still gonna know. See, I can. <sighs> Looks like the student finally surpassed the teacher. Shulk. Yeah, right on the nips. How could you do that, Shulk? Oh no, no, oh, no. Thought it was gonna drop into his crotch. Now that would have been. No, Shulk, you hate him. Remember, you hate him. It's okay. Keep the <laughs> let the hate flow through you. Makes it easier. All right, so Zanz is in space. Don't ask questions. 
watch it to see what happens. That's Colony 9. You can see the flow of time and such. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> when did that happen? Oh, okay, I'll just I'll just become the sun. It's alright. Why? You know why, why can I not see any further? Now that I possess both Monados, I should be at one with the passage of fate. You know why? Why does the vision end why else would it? Here? Because you die there. So Dixon has passed. Lorathea too. How can this be? Are Telethia growing weak? How could they be defeated by such worthless mortals? This world belongs to you all. Create a world with no need for gods. A world that has no need for gods. <laughs> there is no world without a god. This world belongs to me! That doesn't look good. He's using his full rainbow powers to do something. Okay, we're also in space. Don't ask questions. <laughs> That's a very good question, Ryan. Where are we? What happened? It night time. Kinda? You're Did just awake. Did have bad dream? Look down. Look at all the stars. We're not on Bionis anymore. There's, There's no some land all the way over there. Either. Maybe. I don't know. Saturn have a land mass? I feel like it doesn't. I feel like it's a gas. It's a gas giant, right? Okay. Uh. Right. Cool. Metal face. I feel like. Yeah, this should be the team for Metal face. Makes sense. of a boss gauntlet, basically. You fight, like, the main antagonists of the different sections of the game. Mumkar was the first one. Egil, I think, at some point. Aldabaoth. Technically, they're not mech on, so you don't need to use the mech on thing to fight them. Hopefully. There's also no drops. So, why do you think we're in space? Final frontier. What do you think? The, what do you think the issue with that is? Starting at Saturn as well for some strange reason. Now going to Jupiter. So we're getting closer to Earth. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Not remember the ordering of the planets. Yeah, we're getting closer. I just yeah, I thought Jupiter was closer. Who's this? Just a Telethia. And Telethia. Don't hold back. Good luck, everyone. Burn. Heat haze. Ha! All together now. Good call, soldier. Now perfect for a change. Here we go. See, they're not they're not really putting up much of a struggle against us. Even though we're at the same level. I can't tell if it's if it's pure just casual mode or if those enemies are just easy. Because they were I think they were easy in normal mode anyway, but to be fair, I 
did spend a while doing the post-game stuff before I did the final boss. Da moon. Go to the moon first, then Earth? Gado, I think? attack because I'm pretty sure Zanz is in the next room. There we are. My house is the right there. <laughs> it's probably not. It's probably on the other side. Hey, I hadn't reached the flag yet. It's beautiful. Is that a ball of water? So you finally made it, Shulk. Elvis? <gasps> it's you. What is it, Shulk? I cannot wait to see wait which path There are branching you paths in Xenoblade? Let us meet again after you have made your choice. Ugh. Got red and blue powers now. Yeah, a... Welcome, Shulk. That voice. W what could possibly have given it's that away? But Just in he armor. Looks different. I had planned to use the body obtained from Shulk as a vessel in which to dwell for the next millennium. However, I came to possess a great and unexpected power. See, his, his armor is like the Bionis, like it kind of looks In like In addition it. to my own Monado, which you kept safe for me, I was also able to obtain a second weapon which holds the power of creation. Now I possess cool, go away, then. all I desire. There is no longer any need for the life of Bionis. I must thank you indeed, Shulk. You were of more use to me than any Dixon. of my disciples. Now Does that count? That I yeah, the counts. Monados, I can forgive you your betrayal. Ha! You gonna give him a reward? Precisely. I will have him serve as my new disciple. You will be granted eternal life already got that. and unimaginable strength. Death will be but a fleeting afterthought. Are you so arrogant to believe that the High Entia... No. All life on Bionis yes. are nothing but your playthings. I'm not playing with you. Playthings? Yes. You don't know how it feels to have slain my brethren after they are transformed into Telethia. What are you talking about? A Telethia is a High Entia's true form. I did not transform them. Some semantics I returned here. them. The Telethia are mere cells from my body. I conferred intelligence upon them on a mistaken whim, creating a primitive life form, the High Entia. They enjoyed a brief existence as sentient beings. For that, they should be grateful. Huh. So this is the arrogance of a creator. As I planned, the life of Bionis existed simply to serve as my vessels. I mean, he's just eating food. like parasites Bionis off his own is body. Nothing more than an accumulation of their corpses and life energy. But though you feign omnipotence, the High Entia still can find you to Prison Island. Where? That is how limited you are. Confined me. I was merely yeah, yeah, sure. resting there for a while. I was wounded in the battle with Maynard's vessel. I simply awaited the day when a new vessel revealed to me in a vision. Oh yeah, I allowed be myself to be captured. Until I was born. Precisely. 
I intended to inhabit your body and once again do battle with Maynith. However, I had no idea that I would defeat her so easily. Maynith. Yeah. You did a great deed. He's not saying them and Adam, that's the rule. Renato. I will gladly take you as my new disciple. Shulk. <laughs> Never! I don't want to be your vessel or your disciple. I can point swords at you too. I just want to live my life as a Homs in a world without you. <laughs> that is most regrettable. Oh, what is going on with his feet? You could have entrusted what is that? all to me and attained What is peace. happening here? How <laughs> is this working at all? The vision of mortals will ever remain. How does he walk in these things? Using one's power to change the world. That is a right possessed only by gods. Is that why you laid waste to Maconis? Of course. Along with the beings called Machina, who followed Mena. They had evolved and become insolent. Really? It's because they were uppity, he killed them all? So you're saying us Homs are next in line, eh? You are correct. You yourselves have proven that Homs are a dangerous species. How unfortunate. I had a desire for friendship. But granting intelligence to the lives I created was a mistake. A god should not long for friendship. <laughs> You're wrong! Only the power of friendship is what's gonna beat you, you idiot. To exist alongside us. She grew to consider us her friends. You should have accepted that. But what you were hoping for was not friendship. You wanted worthless slaves. Our lives as food. Just as I suspected, it appears that I was mistaken <laughs> to grant free will. However, all will soon be over. The Telethia will exist. You're not doing a great job right now. I will then create a new world, just as I have done many times before. We will not allow it. We cannot. All right, guys, it's time for the you. attack and dethrone God portion of the JRPG. Okay, this this fight's actually kind of hard. Well, it probably won't be on again on. Uh, Casual mode, but just in case, let me put a healer in. Uh, I need somebody with topple, so I'm gonna leave Dunban in. I was I was considering bringing Fiora in because she has like a story reason to be in the fight, but <clears throat> she doesn't have topple, so. All right then, can I save? All right, here we go, Zanza, final battle. Level, I don't know. Stop looking at me, Zanza. Hang on, there's two Zanzas. In there, Dumban. It's stage one, right? This is a JRPG. It's gonna have like five different forms. Then I shall obliterate everything with my <laughs> sure, feel free to bring that out any any second now. Oh, he's had another form change. True. His left arm and his like his left arm is uh, Iconus type, and his right arm is Bionis. I 
just because of the two, the two different weapons. Yeah, this team was fine. Keep going. Only the divine may shape the future. All right, he's got he's got a bit more health this time. Drink. You no longer possess the Monado. I don't know. It comes from the bottom Damn. of my heart. Why couldn't we fight like this in? Me my enemy. It we fight the like this in the main game. Must the future we see is not set in stone. There are infinite possibilities well, infinite. based on the paths we choose. Lot, sure. You should be well aware of this notion. For that is how you have always existed. That is a right for gods, and gods only! Why should we care? What's important isn't whether you can see the future or not. It's the will to make a choice, and the strength to seize your destiny. Our time has come. Our destiny is our own! Uh, hang on, what's, what's going on? <laughs> a new manado. Can it be? It is not only you that has the right. Every living thing has the freedom to choose the path they walk. And that is the future. A third of I want it. Appeared. I don't know how I'm going to hold it, but I want this it. Happened. You are mere mortals. All right, now we have our own Monado. Uh, this fight will be dramatically easier. <laughs> Your existence cannot be permitted. I will destroy you. Ah, don't turn around. Stop looking at me, Zanza. There you go. You idiot. It doesn't even give me the option to use days. Or sorry, it gives me the option to do it. It's just pointless. Because he can't be days. Anyway, yeah, dramatically easier with that. Not that casual mode wasn't easy in the first place. What, what if I'm a god? What about that? This is the providence of the world. Even gods are merely beings restricted to the limited power. Wait, what? There's another god. That power, although great, is not unlimited. That voice, Albus, how dare you disobey me? They're on my legs. What? I am Manado. How many I was of these things are the beginning, and I will proclaim the end. But that—that's impossible. Shulk, it is time for you to choose. Does this world belong to Zanza, or does it belong to you? That is something. I belongs to me. Although really, it belongs to nobody. I think is what he ends up going with. Today, we use our power to fell a god, and then seize our destiny. Uh oh.
Cut in half, too. And sp split the Bionis and the Mechanis. It's faded. The memory of a god's existence, born from the chaos of creation. It is vanishing. Lol, get good. Okay, now what? We're still in space. <laughs> somebody, somebody help us out here. Now there's space technology happening through? Where am I? Space? This is my home. Your home? Hey, it's the green star thing that was that was leading our path. Let's begin the experiment. Whose voice was that? It is Zanza. Before he became a god. When he was simply a man what? of flesh and blood. No! The results have not been confirmed! It's too dangerous! And that voice? It's Maynath. Ridiculous! It's perfectly safe. We are about to bear witness to the birth of a universe. Once, only a god could perform such a miracle. But today, mankind moves one step closer Klaus? to the divine. What have you done, Klaus? <laughs> All right, I might I might have fucked up a little bit. It was simple curiosity. The curiosity of a single man that destroyed the universe you and idiot. created a new one. A new universe. Your world was born. And so two gods came into Jesus, existence. Right beside each other. Zanza and Maynath were lonely, so they created life in their own image. What's the what's with the robots then? And that was how what's we with were the born. robots and the birds and so on. As the world advanced to each further stage, it was inherited by generations of different life forms. But over time, awareness of Zanza faded. You didn't like that. <laughs> Zanza dare you forget feared me. this. In order to escape his own annihilation, he wished for a world in a perpetual cycle of destruction. It's like, nah, and let's start again. I don't, I don't like how this is going. Let's start Bionis this again. Bionis being filled with life, and the Telethia coming to wipe it out. It was all the will of Zanza. There's a it bit was. Mass Effect to the story. I always felt. But the truth of the matter a little bit is of the, the that he longed that for friendship. You know, it's like localized to one planet. It always felt like that. Bonk. His future. And our future. It might have been possible for them to coexist. Correct. However, that time has passed. The old god was defeated by the new god that he himself created. New god? Yes. That is why I appeared Wait, I before God this whole time? Why didn't anybody tell me? Hey, Anarchaza, Azuma. Majora's Mask you? moment a little bit. I am the administrative computer of a phase transition experiment facility. But Correct. that will mean I, little I to you. I don't know what he said. To you, I am a machine. That You're from Mechanus. my original Gross. form. Alvis? This world is stagnant. It has expired. Therefore, I will ask you. My phenomenal its new cosmic God. powers. What is your wish? Will you allow the world yes. to continue to stagnate? Because <laughs> I get to stay or as the God. Will you allow way. it to evolve to the uh, next? Move level? on to the next level. I haven't finished the grinding in this level. Is yet. Yours to I'm make. sure there's some secrets I've missed. I don't know. All I wanted to do was stop Zanza having his way. That's all. Cool. Pick the other side. I cannot be a god. Uh, too right. You're great hey, and all, look, but it's no the talking way you're a light bulb said I was a god. Everyone. Look, don't worry, Shulk. Well, none good, because none of you are. Anyway. I'm the god. <laughs> and I don't really know what the future holds, but we just want to live our life as it comes. Eating grub, 
sleeping, not the crying part. Laughing, crying. Let's keep the let's get Sometimes rid of that one arguing. Too. Sounds all right. Yes, he's right. I'm being with the ones but we love. Gatto's love. dead. Though. That's enough. Even so, we change little by little. Every day is a little different from the last. We do not know what the future will hold. More mm, fun. I don't know. I think I'd want to know. Ricky want to have fun. Life's little surprises are what Citation makes it great. Needed. We don't know what's going to happen. It's worrying sometimes, but it's also exciting. Oh. Don't you think? Yeah. Isn't that called progress? Aren't we all That's continuously not how evolution evolving? Works, Dunbar. I'm not sure we need a more dramatic change than that. I don't know. I'm hearing a lot of talk of I'm not a god yeah. and not enough talk of I am a god. You're right. Little by little. Each day as it comes. That's how we Light should bulb. live. Where are you? I've made That's a choice. Our world. Forgive my presumptuousness, but I recreated their personalities from your consciousness. Alvis, it sounds like you don't think I can make my own decisions. I'm supposed to be the god. For godly powers, we have friendship, and you were. <laughs> That's fair. Nobody asked this me what I wanted. Has little time remaining if left in this state. We're gonna be friends, whether you want it or not. Your decision. I haven't created anything yet. Creator. Okay, can we give Fiora parts first before we change anything? For Just, the future I mean, no, no, no reason. I won't decide. The future should be decided. Uh, it'll take too long. And every person in the world. And so, what I no, what we wish for is. A world with no gods! He said no gods. Plural. I still have one god. <laughs> ow, 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 what? I don't know what's going on in my head, but I don't like it. Stop, please. <laughs> Communist? Oh, yeah, that also worked. <laughs> With that, he created Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Hey, NS93, uh, what do you think about this game? Uh, I like Xenoblade Chronicles 1. It's a bit grindy, is all I would say about it, if you really want to get the 100%y stuff. But it's a fun story, it's a fun game. Probably don't play it on casual mode, because it's too easy. <laughs> but otherwise, it's interesting. And nothing changed. Still have all the quests left to do. <laughs> all the things you didn't fix that you could have fixed with your god powers if they had given you two seconds to do it. I wish for myself to be at the level cap. <laughs> Hi, how are you? I don't know, but it is showing that everyone is living together, etc. And Square Stash did not die. Well, what do you mean? it's a word Sorry. people say when jumps around the entire colony. 50, 50 laps of the colony. Please. That would take quite some time. Ah, yes, that's excellent. So you can take the materials to District Four. The restoration. Well, Theron, what are you doing in my house? Get out of my house. Thanks to Melia and Venea. The high so did we solve World Hunger? No. Nope. amazing technology. Didn't do any of that stuff. Any of the yeah, things Thanos could have done with the glove, we didn't do any of that stuff. <laughs> To live alongside one another in harmony. After all, I have no doubt. This is what we wished for a world with no gods, right? Here, here. But Maynath was already dead, and, and it last forever. We just killed Zanza, so that was it. That, those were the two gods. We didn't have to. We didn't have to Fiora. wish for anything. What is it? Have you seen Shulk? Oh, uh, he just left. I don't know where he's gone, that but he was with the, roof. And the others. Okay, thank you. Hey, we're not, we're deliberately Fiora? not showing Fiora's body. Yes. I wonder what could have happened. Uh, Do you think nothing. something weird has happened to Good Fiora's luck. body? 
why are they doing it from the first person perspective? If you're looking for Shulk, I was also here. looking for Shulk. Amazing! It's like oh, you've got wings. eyes in the back of your head. What were you looking at? The sea? Hmm? It's I was looking, looking at Dunbar, anything he's in hot. particular. <laughs> if anything, Fiora, I was thinking. Thinking about, about the my future, future that awaits us all. Wow. You're so much more thoughtful than me. Really? I don't think so. I was just answering your question. But I know what you mean. You're right. Why aren't any of you wearing We've the cool armor I spent all that time getting? Yes. <laughs> Why are you all back to your base? We forever? have. I am grateful to all of you. It is because I met you that I experienced so much. And it is the reason I am here. Yeah, now. but also meeting us yes. set a chain of events in motion We're that ended with, too. like, genocide, so... Thanks, Melia. Swings around roundabouts? <laughs> I'm glad I met you. <laughs> and I you. Yeah! All... most... Got it! Rain! Go, Rain! <laughs> Oh, Ricky, really hard. Does it look like I'm doing? <laughs> See it. Are you okay? You cannot swim, right? It's salty. What's up with the water being so salty? What's that about? Terrible at this. When was the last time you fished? So did, did the fish just suddenly adapt to salt water? You try next time, purple. Fishing is Ryan's job. Very good. I also have Ricky's job. Hang on a sec. Isn't Oka gonna have a massive go at you if you don't go back to her with fourteen fish to feed all your little pond? <laughs> Ricky forgot. Wifey pond very angry if not catch more fish. It ain't me she's gonna be angry with. No, Ryan, catch fish, <laughs> catch fish now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I believe I had all those god powers and I didn't get rid of sand. Here Pain you sand. are. Feels. How are you feeling? Anything, good. Fiora? You have a robot body. Mm. It does. Doesn't she? <laughs> make sure we re make sure we, we we confirm she has a Homs arse and boobs. It's very important. And a haircut, I think. So have Shulk's haircut? What is it? Oh, uh, that hairstyle. It, it looks good on you, that's all. Salt Shulk. Really? Oh, I was thinking about growing it out, but... Hey, oh, yeah. <laughs> what do you think? Both, of course. Oh, come on. What am I supposed to say to that? I was told not to make decisions Sorry. anymore, Fiora. Okay. It's great like that. Hey, Doom Train Inc., how's it going? <sighs> I'd forgotten what it feels like. How's the Barzuka Joe doing? That's how you were playing that earlier. I wonder what the future has in store I'm for us. getting set up for this and trying not to melt in my room. I'm sure it will be full of ups and downs. Ups and downs? Yeah, you do. There's DLC the that does the future. Holds. You know exactly what the future holds. But that means I can imagine the possibilities. We can achieve anything oh, we put our minds to. It's 13 yeah. more fish to go. You're right. Drink. Do you remember what the Monado, I mean Alvis, that's probably the last drink we'll get. We saw him. Working on yes. further mods for the sub. Nice. Shook. This new world is boundless. No. Key, remember his keychain. Or a nice keychain. His necklace. It's important. important when we play Xenoblade 2. See it. In this world, 
all life will walk towards the future, hand in hand. Elvis God now? Did he take did he take my powers from One me? Day, that little shit. I hope I can meet them all. The people of this endless world. Me too. We will. I know it. Mm -hmm. We'll meet them. And whatever happens, we'll face our future together. So we have uh, what I assume is the corpse of the Bionis. Which is the question, of course, is then what are we standing on? Is this the end? Yep. <laughs> you got here just in time for the credits, didn't you? <laughs> right. So that was Xenoblade Chronicles, the definitive edition that I was supposed to have finished ages ago so that we could have done Xenoblade Chronicles 2 and then rolled right into Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Although her grinding still left to do, yeah, yeah, just less of that, <laughs> less of that happening. Um, mostly because I've done the hundred percent, I'm not doing it again. Uh, and I would like to get into. Uh, do you like this game? Yeah. And as ninety three, yeah, I like Xenoblade Chronicles. Um, like I did like the like the affinity chart, the side quest stuff. I think there isn't a lot of optional things that kind of tie into the main story they feel a lot of superfluous in a lot of ways but like they're fun to engage in but it would have been nice if they had some connection to the main plot there is like a, a post game thing where you go off and find the treasure of giants and stuff like that but it's not really connected to the game at all it's sort of just its own thing um building up colony six again you don't really need to do it like it's not it doesn't massively change the end of the game or anything like that. It doesn't massively change your loadout or your equipment or anything like that. Grind the pain away, pretty much. <laughs> I don't know about that. I think Xenoblade 2 did it better. Even though I didn't finish Xenoblade 2. I did finish Xenoblade Chronicles. So I guess there's something there. I did feel the need to finish this, whereas I didn't in, in 2. But that will change. I will actually finish it when we eventually get around to playing it. Um, there is DLC for Xenoblade Chronicles 1. It's called Future Connected. Uh, it's not great. Really, it's just more, more of it. Um, they go back to Alchemoth, the city that's still overrun with Telethia. It's like a ghost town now, and some weird time portal thing opens up there, and for whatever reason, monsters. That's it. It's not really all that interesting. It doesn't doesn't tie into the events of Xenoblade 2 or anything like that, so I don't feel the need to do it. Xenoblade 2's DLC, on the other hand, is actually pretty important to the story, so we probably will play that. Um, the real question is, though, what to play in between, because I don't quite want to jump straight into Xenoblade 2, but I don't want there to be a massive gap between 1 and 2, so sort of thinking of doing something short and sweet. Or maybe just do a bit of something and come back to it after Xenoblade 2? I don't know. So I've been thinking of, of Neo and uh, Monster Hunter separately to try to do just a, some runs in those. Is there something that can be done long run? Or long term? Um, I was also looking at The World Ends With You because I've played the sequel but I never played the original. <laughs> Super Mario Bros. 2. <laughs> I don't know. Do I even have that? It might be on the Switch Online. Possible. Um, like I might do the... I might do the... Uh, Bowser's Fury thing of Mario is, is pretty short, but it's like an interesting concept and possibly where they're going with Mario games in the future. Um... World Ends With You is like an old JRPG that was on uh, the Nintendo DS, had a bit of a cult following, didn't do great commercially, but people who have played it really, really liked it, enough that eventually Square Enix made a sequel, and the sequel is also pretty good, but again, did not sell well, so it's probably going to be a while for if you ever see anything more of it, but they're very good games, and I never did finish uh, the second one. 
I never played the first one. So, uh, I don't know. There are a couple of different things we can try. Now what? Now we have the, the de developer's logo. It's a, it's a comb. I know it's meant to be a monolith, but it looks like a comb. It looks like a comb. Now it's the really, really end of the credits because they've given you the legalese. I play the 2 OST on stream a lot. It's really good, isn't it? Really good soundtrack. Okay, continuing from clear data, you can do New Game Plus or you can go back and play more. And that's what New Game Plus gives you. It's nothing all that important. The true Manado. Shulk now holds the true Manado. See, so he will not receive the Manado again in subsequent playthroughs. So if you do New Game Plus, you get to bring over this weapon. Uh, that's why I didn't do New Game Plus, because massive spoiler. <laughs> I don't know about its gameplay, though. Uh, uh, it's fun. It's interesting. Twos is really interesting. And I would be interested to see what the original concept was like, because I've only played the sequel. However, it is still full price, even though it came out, like, many, many years ago. <laughs> it's still, like, $50. So, no. <laughs> Till that goes on sale, it's not happening, basically. Uh, or unless I can find it on PC for sale. I find it unlikely Nintendo will ever put it on sale. Anyway, that's that. There's New Game Plus, and then there is the extra story, which is the DLC. like a menu for that or does it jump straight into it because if it jumps straight into it I'm just cancel <laughs> I'm just gonna cancel it straight away yeah there's a, there's a menu for it so this is like uh future connected the DLC where it just goes into like I said they try to go back to Alchemoth some bullshit happens that's it lots of different cutscenes and that's it I'm not going to go into it just in case anyone else decides to play it. I don't, I'm not going to spoil it for you. Right, now what? Because still got like an hour and a half left of the stream. <laughs> uh, right. What I think I will do is... I think I'll take the stream down for a bit. Uh, and then I will swap over to the PlayStation and we'll look at something on that uh, instead. Okay, so I'll be back in a sec. <laughs> Let me just... Uh,